All right, you two. Let Bob get a word in. <laughs> no, nothing coming. Bob, I feel obliged to ask you at this point, how's your week been? Well, it started quite strangely, actually. Mm. I, I was approached by Funk and Wagnall's Encyclopedia, mm -hmm. who offered me a substantial amount of money to use this show to promote their product. Uh -huh. And what did you say? Well, obviously, I turned them down. I felt it would compromise this show to mm -hmm. accept the offer. Sure. May I ask, Bob, how you communicated your rejection? Mick, I wrote them a letter using a piece of paper. Paper has, of course, been used as a means of communication yeah. since it was first made in China from the bark of the mulberry tree in AD 105. I see, I see. I, I suppose you could just as easily have used the telephone. Well, certainly since 1877, the telephone has been a popular way of getting a message mm. across, yes. It, it must have been frustrating for the inventor of the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell. Yes, having invented the telephone, I bet the first thing he wanted to do was ring someone and tell them. But of course, he had the only one. <laughs> uh, but seriously... <laughs> Encyclopedias are an invaluable source of knowledge. Mm. But Bob, isn't it time now to delve into a book of a different kind? Yes, it is, Mickey. It's time to delve once again into <laughs> Bob's scrapbook. A collection of moments, images and episodes. <laughs> You the artist? Yeah. You like that one? It's just beautiful. The light is so evocative. Yeah, it's an extraordinary time of day in the bush. First thing in the morning, and the sun rises behind those mountains and it casts those long shadows. It gives the whole landscape a kind of a, a luminous quality. Just beautiful. So, do you do any nudie stuff? <laughs> Make your pardon? Make your women that sort of gear. Yeah, I got a bit out the back. Great. <laughs> a visit from the Lord. Sir, can I? I'm looking for a Mr. David Creswell. Uh, there's no one of that name here. You live here on your own? No, no, there's a girl who lives here too. Got some proof of identification on you, sir? Yeah, sure. How long you lived here? Uh, since June of last year. June of last year? Yeah. Still got your old address on the licence there. Ah, uh, yes, I must have forgotten to change it. You might want to get on to that. I will. Okay, thanks. Uh, just a moment, sir. You want to just step out on the driveway? A couple more questions. Okay. Do so you know idea where this David Creswell could be? No. Wasted trip, then. Yeah. I don't suppose you've done anything wrong, have you? <laughs> no. No one you want to point a finger at? No. Not someone you don't like, but you want to get into trouble? No. <laughs> Completely wasted trip. Yep. Ah, oh, jeez. Could really have done with a result on this one. Things aren't going too well for you. Alright, um, just can't seem to solve any crimes, can't seem to make any arrests. So. Not your problem, mate. Not your problem. Listen, mate. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm David Cresswell. What? I gave you a fake ID. I'm David Cresswell. I'm him. 
slap the cuffs on and we'll go. Jeez. Seems kind of unfair, you've been so helpful. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go back to the station. I'll tell them I've spoken to you. You've shown me some ID that says that you've marked Goldstone. I mean, that's the truth, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Thank, thank you, that's really nice of you. Well, fair is fair. Yeah. You gotta go and do that right now? I'll so, go and do that now, yeah. It's just, I've only just um, put the kettle on. It seems a shame to... Got <laughs> <laughs> biscuits? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, great. You live locally? I'm just around the corner, yeah. Right, OK. Well, we're locked out. We'll open this up. <laughs> June! Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. What can I do you for? Uh, I think I'll have a screwdriver. Mm, good choice. I make a particularly mean one. Now, what we need for a screwdriver is a generous measure of Russian vodka. <laughs> Screwdriver's off. Okay, um... How about a Manhattan? Oh, Manhattan, where it all happens. Um, oh, what we need is a generous measure of Scotch whiskey. We're going to have to let you go. I understand. Tell a cleaner. Oh, I'll do this. Complimentary nuts. Turning into quite a substantial document, Bob's scrapbook, <laughs> but uh, it's great fun indeed. Hey, shall we?